Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Bass and Intuitive Tarot. And in today's reading, I will be doing a quick weekly check-in look at Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for the week of May 26th to June 1st. However, my readings are timeless and time is fluid, so regardless of what the date says on the video, it's whenever you stumble upon this reading is when Spirit wants you to hear the message, okay? And guess what? Today's the day I will be announcing the two lucky winners for a free personal reading from me. The amount of entries I got really surpassed what I thought. So I think for the upcoming weeks, I may pull a couple more from that same batch of entries. So if you don't hear your name be called, I will be drawing a few more times, okay? Because I just really, really want to get back to you guys. And if you want to know how to book a reading from me, the link to my website is in the description box below. It will take you to the, uh, the page to book. Universe Spirits and Guides, what do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of May 26th to June 1st, or whenever they stumble upon this reading? What do we have for Pisces? I will be adding some singles readings in the month of June, so if you're not dealing with anybody, I'll try and add that. I'm just trying to get used to my schedule, all right? Universe Spirits and Guides, what do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I will be using two separate decks for this reading. One is the right away I will be using to represent your side of the story and the Gilded Tarot to represent your partner's side of the story. I will then clarify both of them using my Mystical Cat Tarot deck. I do this so that I can see if you guys are mirroring the same energies or are on the same page. I will then be pulling three Romance Angels to get an overview of your romantic situation and then I will pull two Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle cards to get some advice from Spirit. Alright. Let's get this going. Universe, spirits, and guides, what do you have for Pisces? Let's make it a good one, okay? Let's make it a really good one for my Pisces. I love you guys. You guys are so sweet. All right, a couple more shuffles. All right, let's rock this deck. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Over on your side. The overall energy on the bottom of your deck is the full card. Somebody wants a new beginning with you, Pisces. They want to take a leap of faith. They feel lighthearted in your, your company. It's just something about you that's inspiring this person to just throw caution to the wind and just take a leap. This is an adventure. Somebody wants to go on an adventure with you, buddy. Now, if you feel like you resonate more with your person's side, take it however it resonates, okay? You can flip-flop it, vice versa. It, just only take what resonates and leaves the rest, okay? And do check out your moon, your rising, or Venus sign if this one doesn't resonate. Sometimes I feel like I resonate more with my moon or my Venus sign than I do with my sun sign. Universe spirits and guides. Pisces person, Pisces person, Pisces person. Over on your person's side. If you're new, hit like and subscribe. We have fun here. Page of Cups. Who else got this exact same card in this exact same spot? Gemini. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, go check out the Gemini reading. But this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This person is feeling loved up by you. They feel a lot of cute feelings towards you. It hasn't really grown to a king yet. I feel like this person's at that shy stage where they want to offer you some love, but they're nervous as heck. And they could be younger than you too. Somebody here has a very deep crush on you. They, they just don't know what to do yet, so they're kind of like deer in headlights right now on whether to make this move or not. It might throw you off a bit too. When you see this person in person, it's going to be like, does he or she like me? I can't tell. This person's like stone cold. It's because they're nervous, they're scared, they have anxiety to present this offer. Just look at their eyes. You can tell if someone cares about you by the look in their eyes. What song did I just heard? The Weeknd, I think it was. In your eyes. That that song just popped in, so you might be able to connect that to that. The higher event, Taurus energy. Somebody sees this as a higher level of commitment or a, a higher level of commitment and may be blocking this from starting and somebody's wanting to take a risk and get out of a higher level of commitment that no longer makes them happy and they're wanting a new adventure with you. Take it however it resonates or this person could be feeling like you are commitment material. They see you as someone that they could grow with and, you know, live a nice life with and just be free. 
they feel like they can go on a fun adventure with you after someone else has maybe left them feel tied down and drained. And under that is Pisces energy. Right now this connection seems to be in stagnation, in limbo. People are like checking out this connection in all different perspectives. This is basically checking this connection out in all perspectives. And somebody's ready to take that leap now because they see a higher level of commitment here. Or like I said, someone's wanting to make a bold move involving breaking out of a higher level of commitment because they had this strong crush on you. They have these feelings for you. They feel good when they're around you. But I feel like you don't know about these feelings yet. Cancer Pisces. Myself as a reader, I usually see this one as Cancer. Cancer is really ruled by the moon and then that little crab is popping out. But this could definitely be Pisces. This person hasn't revealed their feelings and they are unknown because they're shy. These feelings are hidden behind this confident exterior. This person's displaying this confident exterior to you but inside there's hidden feelings. Let's keep going. <laughs> they want this passion beginning with you. You are very attractive. This person thinks about you in um, <laughs> sexual ways. This is Fire Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This person thinks about you late at night and wants this awesome new passion beginning with you. And you know what? It actually looks like they're holding the rod in the hand. I didn't mean that in a dirty way, guys. Get your mind out of the gutter. But this person looks like they're holding that rod. See how it like looks like it? They're holding that rod wanting to go on a new adventure with you. But get your mind out of the gutter. I know what you were thinking just now. That's not what I meant. They want this new passion beginning with you, okay? They see you as a higher level of commitment. Jeez, you guys are dirty. Pisces energy! King of Cups. This could also be Cancer or Scorpio, but myself as a reader, I always see this one as Pisces. Right now, there's a lot of controlled emotions. I feel like you're also controlling your emotions too, but this person is doing a good job hiding theirs. And they've also promoted from a page to a king, so they will be coming towards you with this offer and wanting to have a new leap of faith with you. They want this passionate beginning, and they're going to stop controlling their feelings. This is all going to be a thing from the past when they come back to reveal how they feel about you. They're going to still be a little shy. And they're still going to control some of their hidden feelings. But they're going to at least release some of them. But not all of them. So they're not going to be like, I love you. They're, they're just going to look at this person's eyes when they talk to you. But they are going to reveal this loving offer for you. They just won't throw it all on the table. They won't lay out all their cards. There are some things that's still going to be unknown. But it's not anything that's going to piss you off or hurt you. It's just no one wants to lay out all their damn cards. I mean, you could have this obsession for somebody, but when you see them in person, you're like, you know what? I really like you. You say that you like them, but behind the scenes, you're like, fuck. I got your pictures all over my wall and I stare at it every single night with little red hearts surrounding it. Don't do that. That's kind of creepy. But you're not going to reveal your true feelings just yet. So you're going to control them a bit. But you are going to let them know that you do see a higher, higher level of commitment or they're going to do it with you. Somebody here is only going to show a little bit of feelings. But there's more behind the scenes that you're going to not know about just yet. They want to start off as a little adventure. They want to go on a little adventure with you, but secretly behind the scenes, they do see higher level commitment, but they don't want you to know that's how strongly they feel about you. So they will control their emotions a bit. So they'll only give you a little bit. They're going to be like, I really like you. I want to see where this goes. But deep inside their head, they're like, geez, I'm already picturing our wedding. <laughs> it's kind of like that. They're already like picturing a wedding. All right, let's keep going. Dude. Ow, my voice. You guys both have the full card. You want to take this risk with them. You want this new adventure with them. You want this brand new beginning with them. This is so stinking cute, guys. You guys both want this. I love it. I love Pisces. You guys are so adorable. Every Pisces I've ever known, I just want to like kiss on their cheek like a million times because you're just so kissable. You guys are very intuitive too. So I'm, I feel like you already know that this is happening. King of Wands, you could be dealing with a Leo. Somebody. 
you're very passionate for this person too. This person has inspired you. I feel like this person has really put like a pep in your step and made you more ambitious, more outgoing than you're used to. Most Pisces are very quiet and reserved and kind of shy. They like to just like be home and just, you know, cook a meatloaf, guy or girl. You guys like to tinker in the garage and work on your classic car and just listen to some music with maybe a beer. You're not very outgoing. You don't like to be around a lot of people. You're more one-on-one, -on -one, but I feel like this person has inspired you to, you know, think outside the box. Think, you know, think more expressive to be more uh, open to approaching more people. This person has really created a lot of zest in your life. This person is making you more of a go-getter. This person has a lot of confidence and I feel like they've boosted your confidence too because they tell you, they, they make it well aware that they do have a lot of sexual attraction to you. You're just being put off by the fact that they're not sharing their feelings just yet. This is good. So you're in their energy as Pisces and then they're in your energy as the King of Wands. So this person could have fire in their chart. Don't have to be. But you're in their energy heavenly and they're in yours. Death card. I love it. This is going to transform. Something that's been dealing, happening in the past where it was stagnant is going to transform. That old cycle is going to be ending and a brand new one's going to be rebirthed. Did I say that right? I don't know. There is transformation coming up with this connection. And based on the surrounding cards, I feel like it's going to be a positive transformation. You both are taking a leap of faith. And this person could possibly be ending a higher level of commitment in order to move forward with you. Or you are needing to end a higher level of commitment to have this new adventure with this person. Take it however it resonates. I don't usually clarify on the weeklies, but I feel, feel, I'm feeling very nosy here. I want to know more about this full card. Give me a... Give me a card on the Fool. Give me a card on the Fool. I'm not ready yet. Go back in there and you're about to give me friggin' four cards, Spirit. I said one. I don't want to make this a long video. Hit like and subscribe and don't forget to listen to the winners of the free reading. And if you don't win, I will keep doing some more drawings in the future. And if you don't want to wait, you can book a personal. Give me, two, give me one card on the Fool. One card on the full, please. Just one. Oh my god! And on the bottom is the floating kitty, which is the hangman, Pisces. Somebody's looking at the situation in different perspectives and they want to take a leap of faith. But what came out is the two of stinking cups. This is your soulmate. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is clarifying the full card. They want to end a higher level of commitment or they're waiting on you to so they can have this new adventure with you because they know you are their soulmate. Dude, for the one and only card I am clarifying, it had to be the soulmate card. I fuck. Oops, sorry. I friggin' love it. I don't normally swear this much. I'm sorry if I dropped an F-bomb. But I'm just happy. This I like it when it like turns out this way. When you guys met, you know what? Gemini got this too. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, they got the Page of Cups in this same position. And then they also got the Two of Cups. So if you're connecting with a Gemini, do check that out. But when you guys met, you guys felt like you've known each other lifetimes before. Whenever it's a soulmate connection, that means you guys have had other lifetimes together. It's in you guys' blueprints in your Ak Akashic records that you guys were going to live this lifetime together. You could have been brothers and sisters in a past life or this per person could have been your father, your brother, or your sister in a past life but now in this connection they are your love interest. It's not creepy. It's just how the world works. So this person is meant to be your lover. In what capacity? Only you guys know. This could last one year. This could last five years. This could last 11 years or lifetime. Only you guys know what's in your blueprint. But Regardless, this person is meant to be in your life to leave an impact. This person is meant to teach you something or you're me meant to teach them something. There's teaching and learning involved when you meet soulmates. You can have more than one. But that's great, guys. Yep, somebody wants to take a, a leap of faith and have a, a, new, a new adventure. And you both are marrying each other. You both are feeling this. This is beautiful. Give me three romance angels. Hey, like and subscribe, share with your girlfriends, comment down below what you think of my new channel, 
and thank you so much for all the love and support I've been given. The donations, the someone donated a dog deck from my Amazon wish list. I'm gonna use that for the June reading. You guys are great. And if you want to book a personal, link is in the description box. Go to bassinintuitivetarot.com. And you get three, two more, one more. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And deception was in reverse. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. This is in reverse. So if you feel like this person wasn't revealing their feelings because they were controlling it too much, Spirit is saying they will remove that mask and you will know. And the card that flew out is reconciliation. Someone from your past life is returning your, to your life. <gasps> Didn't I just say that when I was clarifying, when I was talking about the Two of Cups? Whenever you have a soulmate energy, it's someone from your past life. You guys have lifetimes together. And, then, and if this isn't someone from your past life, this is someone from your past or someone you just recently took a break from. But I strongly feel this person is your soulmate and you have had lifetimes together with this person. And the other card, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Spirit saying give your relationship a chance. And let me get two advice cards and then we're going to get into the winners of the free personal reading giveaway. And I almost lost my voice there. And I'm working on slowing down during my reading so if you guys felt like I was too fast, I tried. Simply love. Situation is involving you to simply love. This is beautiful. This is also the Six of Cups which means you both are missing each other right now. Bay Chakra and the healing begins. Somebody needs to heal before this connection can begin because they are coming out of a higher level of commitment or there's something surrounding needing to take time and slowly build this connection before you go on this leap of faith. And also look up some exercises on how to cleanse your base chakra. There's something about your base chakra that might be blocking this connection from transpiring as fast as you want it to. All right, Pisces, you guys are awesome and lovable and adorable. Hit like, hit subscribe, share, and good luck on the contest. And if you want to book a personal, hit the description box below and go to BadisonIntuitiveTarot.com. I love you. Later. Hey everybody, I bet you're here to see if you're one of the lucky winners who I will be picking for a free personal reading. But before I draw the winners, I have a brief announcement. To the subscriber who booked a personal reading by me last week, your inbox is very full right now. So every message I send your email account, it gets bounced back to me. So for the subscriber with the first name Darlene, your email account is really full. So you need to delete some of your emails or send me a new email account that I can send your personal reading to, okay? It's the email that has the word lioness in it, okay? I'm only saying that now because I know you will be watching this announcement for the winner. So that's the only way I can communicate with you right now because your inbox is full and I can't communicate with you through that email because it keeps bouncing out. Again, for the subscriber by the name of Darlene who booked the personal reading from me, please email me a new email account so I can correspond with you from there or delete some of your, um, your messages from your inbox because I'm getting the error message. Because I really want to get your personal reading started, okay? I've got way more entries to this contest than I thought I was going to get. Holy cannoli. Do you know how long it took me to write down all these names? It took me forever. I had this envision that I was going to have these cute little tarot cards on the surrounding box to make it really cute for you guys, but I ran out of time because of how many tickets I had to write. Holy crap. So, there's over 600 entries here. Over 600. So what I'm doing is, if you don't hear your name today, I'm going to keep on drawing names until the end of June. So for the month of June, I'm going to keep doing random drawings to give out free personal readings to the people who've already entered. And if you haven't had a chance to put in your entry, I will be doing another giveaway soon, okay? Alright, enough of that. I'm going to pick two people. Two people. All right, I'm going to keep it above me so I can't really see. I'm going to stir it all around. All right, it's the first one. The first one is to username, YouTube username Amy Watts. 
Is that the celebrity? Oh no, the celebrity's Naomi Watts. I was about to say, I'm about to do a personal reading for a friggin' celebrity. Holy cannoli. No, congratulations, Amy Watts, or Amy F. Watts. You have won your free personal reading. I will be connecting with you sometime this week to get more details, okay? Congratulations. And then the next person. All right. Getting my hands in there. The next person to win is... Uh, it's hard to read my handwriting. Must have been my little helpers. Kathy Lem. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Kathy Lem. Holy cannoli. Hold on. Let me look into my... Uh, emails and see what that one is one second all right so Kathy yep Kathy Lem Kathy Lem L-E-M-M -M. congratulations you have won for your personal reading. I will send you the information in a couple days, okay? And for everyone else, stay tuned. Throughout the month of June, I'll, I will be drawing more names, okay? There's a lot here. All right, as always, thank you for stopping by. Best into the tarot. Later.